Hey YouTube, welcome back. So in my last video, I did a tutorial on sidechain compression. Now here I've got the exact same session open, and today we're going to be doing a more advanced sidechain technique, which is sidechain EQ. Now this is going to be more of a subtle effect. Um, I use it a lot in mixing, although uh, less so kind of in my general production. So we've got our pumping uh, sidechain compression based from before. Now let's say we want to EQ this so that we're also cutting a bunch of those low frequencies that are interfering with our kick uh, to get a cleaner kick sound out of our mix. Now note, we could also do the same thing to our kick with our bass, but since the kick is only coming sometimes and our bass is constant, that would just permanently EQ our kick. So we're not gonna use that for the sake of this example. However, if we had a more rhythmic bass and we wanted the bass to be the highlight, we might wanna do this the other way around. So what's our first try here? We might try to put an EQ on here. However, note that Logic Stock EQ doesn't have that sidechain option that the compressor does. Now there are EQ plugins that have a sidechain function such as FabFilter, however those are very expensive. So I'm gonna show you just a quick way to do an automated sidechain filter using only stock plugins. And then you can also use something like FabFilter if you wanna spend a little money and have a little bit more control over exactly what's ducking. So we're gonna turn off our EQ we're gonna to go to our filter tab and bring in a cool plugin called Auto Filter. So what we're going to do, what this does is it basically does EQ. You can see some EQ shapes here. We've got a shelf, um, a shelf on both sides, a shelf on the other side, and then peaks. Now what we're going to do is pick this far left one. We're gonna filter out the lows. And you'll note that this plugin has a sidechain function. So what we're going to do is quickly take a look at the kind of general EQ range that our kick is in. So you can see we're really living in this kind of 40 to about a 116 hertz range. So I think that means we should filter all the way up to about 160 hertz. So now we're going to unmute our bass. Let's actually throw this EQ on just so that we can see what's happening. Turn on our analyzer. Let's start our cutoff at off. You can see what's happening is we've cut off these frequencies. Just turning our filter on and off. So now what's going to happen is we're going to leave this on and we're going to sidechain that to the same bus that we set up in our previous video. And be sure to check that out for a more basic tutorial on setting all of these sidechains up. So basically I've got a uh, a bus coming out of my kick with no output. And this is our trigger for the side chain. Now that we've set this up, this filter is going to happen every time the kick drum happens. Now this is getting a pretty interesting effect, uh, just kind of playing around with the envelope. We can make this more or less subtle um, by including more or less of the dry signal as well as playing with the amount of resonance. And that's about it. This one was really quick. We already know how to sidechain from our last video, and now we're learning how to use it in a new context, which is more of in a mixing context, although we can also use it as sound design for a more aggressive effect as well. Um, sidechaining is super useful. Now you've seen two different ways that we can use it, both for that classic EDM 
uh, ducking or pumping, side chaining sound, as well as for side chaining an EQ to automatically do a filter sweep whenever our trigger activates. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave the video a like if you thought it was helpful. Subscribe for more Logic Pro 10 tutorials. Leave any comments or questions down below and I'll respond to every single one. I hope you all have a wonderful day, morning, evening, whenever you may be watching this, and I'll see you next time. Also in the outro, I'm going to play uh, my new single, Space, which you can stream on all platforms. I'll put a link to uh, Spotify and Apple Music down in the description below. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Calling out of you, oh.